Hello VS Talkers, I'm Catherine Decina Saplin and today we are doing the wrap up. And if you're a bit confused, it's okay because I didn't do one in March and then because I went on vacation I don't have that many beers for April so it is the March April wrap up. So in March and April I tried these four beers and instead of going head to head and eliminating them like I normally do, I'm doing this wrap up a bit differently. I just, I'm gonna say I recommend them all and here are the reasons why. Leffa Ruby. Full disclosure, this isn't the best tasting beer I've ever had. However, this one is made with rosewood, which gives it a very distinctive rose floral taste. And that might be an acquired taste, but it is one that I find intriguing and enjoyable. So if you want to try something that's a bit different, this is the beer for you. Mystic Creekin. I'm recommending this because it's different than any of the other fruit beers that I've had in that it is a white beer that is mixed with cherries. So it's not a lambic. And I think that's a very important distinction. I wouldn't say that it's the best tasting fruit beer that I've had, but I really like white beers and the cherry taste married very well with it. So I'd highly recommend this if you want to try something interesting. Chimay, Brune, or Rouge, or Red Label. This is a beer that came highly recommended to me from various sources, and I will say it did not disappoint. This is delicious. If you want to try a well-known Belgian brand and beer, this is the way to go. It's not um, overly bitter or overwhelming, so I would say that even for someone who has never had beer and who may not like beer, this is going to be the beer for you. Bourgogne de Flanders. All right, so my own personal recommendation is out of all the beers, if you're gonna get one, get this one. I got this beer on a whim because I saw the title and it just made all these questions pop into my head and I like the artwork and it was a brown red beer and those are the beers that I'm currently working on and trying and this beer was just wow. So far out of all the red brown beers that I've had, this one is my favorite. It is, it's undescribable in its taste. It's not bitter or or overly sweet. It's it's just, it's undescribable, it's good, I'd recommend it. So go get this one. If you want to see my original reviews for these beers, I'll leave some links in the description below. And if you like more Beer Mistress beer reviews, be sure to come back on Fridays. Or if you can't wait that long, check out one of my playlists. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. You can follow me on Twitter, all my social links are in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Tote scenes, may apple zines.